And the polar night begins today. Very exciting. And we are now joined by Mark Mahaney, a photographer who traveled to the frigid Alaskan town to document the darkness that takes over the town each year. So, so cool. first off, thank you so much for joining us. And we had a we had a question for you. What made you want to travel to Alaska to take these photos of the phenomenon known as the polar night? <laughs> Thanks for having me. Um, I make my living as an editorial and commercial photographer and I was really hungry to try to find a project to do for myself. Um, and I was doing research and found this headline about this town uh, that was about to undergo enter into uh, 65 days of sustained darkness. And I was immediately hooked. Hmm. Um, and so I didn't quite know what I was going to do for the project, but um, I booked tickets and and I went. Well, so. I will say it was a, it was a brave adventure because with photography, of course, you need the light and going to a place that's that's dark. You you have to be creative, which some of these images that we're looking at right now, quite compelling. Yeah. Was there was there a personal connection that you had or did you just want to travel and experience Alaska north of the Arctic Circle? I should say, too. Exactly. It's about 320 miles north of the Arctic Circle. Um, it's a very, very bizarre place. There's no roads that lead there. There's no fresh food um, <clears throat> other than what is hunted and, and killed, like in whale hunts and polar bear and things like that. And I didn't necessarily have a connection to the town itself, um, but I just wanted to put myself into a situation that was um, challenging, and I, I certainly achieved that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, you briefly just touched on it, but could you explain what it was like experiencing the polar night firsthand, and how long were you there for? So I was there for the last 12 days, I believe. Um, I left the day the sun came up. Um, it was a very intense place to be. Um, during that time of year in the town, the crime spikes. It's, I, I believe, the highest suicide rate in the entire country. Um, like, different abuse goes up. The uh, local police department gets random calls from citizens saying that they feel disoriented. They don't know what time of day it is. They don't know the day of, of the week it is. And so it's a very kind of um, energetically a very heavy place. Um, and it was it was I feel like it kind of charged the project for me a little bit um, because I felt that heaviness. And so um, but otherwise, it's just sort of a normal town. There's a supermarket, a police station, uh, a, um, a pizza parlor things like that um but it's it's just blanketed under darkness and um so yeah it's it's a bizarre bizarre place it was like landing on the surface of the moon oh. when we touched down in the plane